Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. After a quick break, we got to get right to the digest and our Verona Road construction Let's update. Let's do it. So uh, starting here with, uh, again, your uh, construction update. Ooh, I like these graphics. Yeah. These are really nice. Nice and sharp. All right. All, uh, so you got your uh, Beltline and Verona Road interchange construction update. All lanes, restrictions, and work operations are weather dependent and subject to change. No daytime, single lane closures anticipated on Verona Road and Midvale Boulevard within these limits. So remember that. And uh, yeah. Easy going there. Easy. Easy right. peasy. Verona Road from Fitch Verona Road underpass north to Raymond Road. No nightly single lane closures anticipated on Verona Road northbound and southbound within these limits. And then they're doing still grading, storm sewer work, retaining wall work. Uh, that's going to be continuing along northbound Verona Road. And then same thing, uh, just more barriers and on Fitch Verona Road bridges and county PD there. So that's it for that area. All right. Keeping it safe. County Road PD between Fitzrona Road and Commerce Park Drive. You got daily single lane closures uh, still may occur uh, in this area. So uh, be aware of that um, and it'll be as needed throughout the week. And then you got nighttime uh, single lane closures may occur on County PD just west of Commerce Park Drive. This would be between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Friday, June 9th to Saturday, June 10th. So at least it's mm -hmm. overnight hours. So yeah, yeah. A little bit easier for traffic. Right, so East Frontage Road between Sprocket Drive and Chalet Gardens Road slash Toppers Lane. <laughs> slash. <laughs> the East Frontage Road between Sprocket Drive and Chalet Gardens Road is closed still until mid-August 2017. Again, grading activities to continue on the new frontage road uh, for a future exit ramp that will be going from northbound Verona Road to Williamsburg Way. Storm sewer work, they're doing some pavement re removals, but then access um, from Verona Road to the East Frontage Road at Williamsburg Way, that is also uh, closed to through traffic right now. We showed you last week how that's kind of dug up. It's a little bit of progress, but still uh, closed to the through traffic there. Yeah, got to take it easy when you go through that area. All right, moving forward here, you got Nesbitt Road between County PD, McKee Road, and Limestone Lane. Nesbitt Road is open to all traffic, and you still got stormwater basin construction continues between Vron Road and Nesbitt Road. Again, a lot of uh, dirt movement in that area as well. So mm -hmm. uh, you'll see the vehicles there. Um, again, the road's open, though, so uh, still hit up those uh, businesses in that area. Indeed. Then KPAC Road from King James Way, Anton Drive to New Fitzrona Road Extension at County PD. KPAC Road between King James Way and the daycare is open, and they are still uh, working in the area doing landscaping and restoration work, but that should be finishing up early next week. So, hey, coming right along over there. Woo! But uh, that's, that's open to go. That's a clap. Mm -hmm. That's a clap. They're making progress. And the places we found all this wonderful information, well, we find it over at projects.511wi.gov slash Verona Road and then Verona Road.info. That's the Verona Road Business Coalition. Make sure you check in with them. See if you kind of find any sweet deals, find out what's going on with the businesses affected by the construction. Thank you very much. All right, moving on here. Lacey Road reconstruction update for you. Yeah, that's still going on. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, here's your report for this week. The preliminary SMSM report for sanitary sewer and water main uh, is still being prepared. Please note that this is, will not be completed in time to meet the Board of Public Works meeting of uh, June 5th. Notices will be sent out to all affected properties as soon as the preliminary assessment report is completed and the date for public hearing is set. If you got any questions on that, you can contact Tracy Foss, Utility Project Engineer 270-4272 with any Coash Jones. And then as far as construction goes, go ahead, Preston. Well, I coughed sure. this one out. Yeah, so here's what's anticipated work for this week. Uh, of course, weather permitting, utility work will continue on electric, cable, and fiber optic lines along the entire route surveying and uh, staking throughout the project, installation of erosion, erosion control in areas as needed, removals continue throughout, uh, throughout the project, underground storm sewer work from Syene Road towards McGaw Road, uh, underground water main from North Park Road to McGaw Road, underground <laughs> sanitary sewer from North Park Road to McGaw Road, and then grading of the roadway and placement of the base aggregate from Syene to Jones Farm Road. Again, if you have any questions, you can contact uh, 
the, the field office phone at 608-504-8406. And remember that uh, when you're driving through this area, make sure you reduce your speeds uh, to keep everybody safe in the construction zone. Use the detour uh, when possible uh, as they only want uh, local traffic, no through traffic uh, in that area. Please, please, please. That's right. Keeps everybody safe. Keeps that dust down too. Whew, a lot of dust up there. All right, that is uh, your construction updates uh, for this beautiful Monday morning. Coming up next, we open up the guest segment. We're taking you back out to the park for Festa Italia 2017. It's X right here on TF.